and I'm trying to get my hair to waist length by the end of the year. I've been through a lot of phases of cutting my hair, going natural, just the back and forth, and I'm just ready to have full, long, waist length, relaxed hair. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been long awaited, but I'm here for a hair update. So I wanna make this really short and sweet. There's a lot of detail, so let's put it all together so that you guys can see what's been going on with my hair. So first and foremost, this is a sew-in. These bundles I actually got from a beauty supply store. Lately, I have been experimenting with sew-ins, but the way that I do it is I make my own U-part wig. I create my perimeter braid, I create very small, neat braids, and I just sew on my U-part just on the perimeter so that's what I've been rocking really I don't use heat on my leave out so this is all my leave out and I know to some people it might look a little bit frizzy but when it comes to taking care of my hair I do not put heat that's one major thing for me so I try my best to either do braid outs for my leave out or just let it do whatever it feels like doing that day. I basically just went into the beauty supply store and I asked them to give me bundles that were the best quality, fully thick from root to tip. And this is what they had. So I will bring it all to the front so that you guys can see. I did get 24 inches, two 24 inches actually, and one 30 inch bundle. They are pretty long. So this is how they go in the back. And I did lighten these bundles. That's the first thing I always do whenever I get any sort of extensions because my hair is like a honey light brown, especially in the sun. I have to dye my bundles in order for my hair to even slightly blend in with any sort of extensions. I'm gonna post here on the screen some pictures of my hair. So I know that it's been a minute. The last video here on my channel is of my wash day with relaxed hair, but I've been on a journey for the last year just really trying to get some blunt ends. I'll show you guys a picture of what my hair looks like uh, when I, I think it was like a week before I relaxed my hair. So I was still natural, uh, but then I decided to relax my hair and I was only natural a year or maybe like eight months. And then I decided I wanted to go back to relaxed hair. This picture is where I was when I straightened my hair and then I knew then that I wanted to go back to relaxed hair. I had a lot of knots, a lot of unevenness, lots of layers just for my hair trying to grow out. Gradually, as my hair has been growing out, it was looking funky. I did have a lot of breakage from when I was natural. You guys know like relaxed hair for me is just so easy and my hair always has thrived. You can check back in my videos and you can see that my hair has always thrived and I've always taken care of my hair. However, with natural hair, um, I just really struggled. My hair really struggled and I didn't notice until I straightened it and until I relaxed my hair and it was a couple months down the line and I just saw a lot of unevenness and a lot of thinning going on. So I did put myself through a phase of just cutting three inches every probably like, I would say four to five months. I did that twice and then now, uh, this is where we're at in length. So it is growing and it is even and it is back to its normal thickness. My hair, when it's wet, it looks very shy. It looks very humble. But when it dries, your girl has lots of volume, which relaxers have never taken that away from me. I've always had volume. I've always had thickness. Um, when my hair is out, I do wash and deep condition every week. Um, and I just wear buns. I do wear my hair down more. I do braid outs and stuff like that, but mainly I've been trying to do very loose buns or claw clips just because the tension, I don't want to add too much tension. I'm trying to get my hair to waist length by the end of the year. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm definitely going to try my hardest because at this point I've been through a lot of phases of cutting my hair, going natural, and then just the back and forth and I'm just ready to have like full long waist length relaxed hair and that's just one of my goals is to get there so we're gonna get there no matter what when i last checked my hair about a week ago before putting the sewing in my ends were very nice very healthy very thick so i'm actually excited to see the length of my hair with just doing my relaxer and not having to trim anything off because literally you guys when i tell you back when i first started my relaxed hair journey I would trim my hair two times a year and that just worked with me. It worked so well with me and I think what contributed mainly was the fact that I don't use heat on my hair. Also was deep conditioning, 
faithfully. Those things will definitely add up, you guys. And if you are someone who you don't want to trim so often, a lot of the manipulation and the heat, it will definitely take a toll on your hair and cause you to have to trim those ends a lot more often. So if you're someone who's like, I want to see if I can cut down to maybe two times a year, three times a year, definitely watch like the heat that you're using. That is something that will make a significant difference. Watch any of my old videos. I have a wash day right here that you can watch. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you follow me on my social medias, which are always linked down below. And I'll see you guys for the next video.